Hello and welcome to ESPN Cricket Info Dailies. I'm Ronak Kapoor with the top cricket news this Saturday. First up, Rory Burns' maiden ton leads England's strong reply on day two of the first Ashes Test. England pacer Mark Wood out for the remainder of the season. Andre Russell rules himself out of the India T20Is. And Saurav Ganguly expresses an interest in coaching Team India, but not just yet. Starting with the Ashes then and Rory Burns' maiden test stun led a determined England batting effort on the second day of the first Ashes test against Australia at Edgbaston. The left-hand opener, playing his eighth match, struggled to get his innings together initially but went on to finish strong by staying unbeaten on 125. England started day two of the test at 10 without loss but lost Jason Roy early in the day. However, Captain Joe Root scored a patient 57 and stabilised the England innings by putting on a 132-run stand for the second wicket with Burns. At the end of day two, England had reached 267 for the loss of four wickets, trailing by just 17. Sticking with England and pacer Mark Wood will miss the rest of the season as a result of the side strain sustained during the World Cup final. The 29-year-old is believed to have felt pain in his left side during the final against New Zealand, but given the stakes of the game, continued to bowl, which may have aggravated the injury. Wood will also undergo surgery on his right knee to clear up some excess cartilage. Given that England already have injury concerns over James Anderson and Joe Archer, this news will definitely give the England selectors a lot to think about. Moving over to the West Indies, when Andre Russell has ruled himself out of the West Indies' first two T20Is against India starting Saturday. The all-rounder had only just returned to action after a knee surgery, but experienced some discomfort while playing in the Global T20 Canada League and then expressed his unavailability to the West Indies selectors. However, only hours after the Cricket West Indies press release had said this, Russell turned out to play for Vancouver Knights against Edmonton Royals. The West Indies T20I captain Carlos Brathwaite was quick to jump to Russell's defence in the pre-match press conference in Florida, suggesting that the media was being a bit harsh on his fellow teammate. In the meantime, middle-order batsman Jason Mohammed has been named as Russell's replacement for the first two T20Is against India. And finally, former India captain Saurabh Ganguly has said that he would be definitely interested in becoming India's coach, but not just yet. Speaking to the Press Trust of India, Ganguly said that his plate was full with current commitments, but once those were done, he would certainly put forward his candidature for the post. The statement by Ganguly comes on the back of the BCCI having recently called for applications for the team's coaching staff, with the current coaching staff's contracts set to end after India's tour of the West Indies. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe and leave your comments in the comment section below. Click on the bell icon for notifications.